Today is February 14th, which is heart day. This apparently is a, it's trending now. People do this for a heart. You know, I used to think it was like shaped like a heart because the artery in a heart looks like this, but really it's just in the thumbs. To me, it kind of looks like an X, but I guess you can see the heart in that. You know, I've never uh, known or I guess fully memorized which day Valentine's is on, probably because I never had one that really significantly stood out to me. <laughs> Who go? No, but really the truth is I'm, you know, I've never been completely convinced that I was in love. I mean, there's a ton of people I've dated and, and loved and been in relationships with, but I never uh, really considered the idea of spending the rest of my life with that specific person, which that is like, I think that's the meaning of true love. Having said that, I've never even really made a video, or better yet, talked much about romance here on the vlog. So um, what better day than to do that today? you flew over 7,000 miles just to come here for a few days and hang out with me. Mm -hmm. Why? The hassle of traveling, all that lost sleep and stuff. It's fine. I mean, you can't bring back time. That's a good point. It's <laughs> true. Time. Time is the most valuable thing. And what you do with that time and who you decide to spend it with. Mm -hmm. It might sound boring to you guys or may come as a bit of a disappointment, but you know, me and Elodia both decided that we weren't gonna do anything extravagant or extraordinary for Valentine's Day. Earlier may have been the most exciting thing we did, um, but we really just decided to go on our routinely morning walk together, play with the drone. Then we just went out to go and get groceries. Ready, Kana? Ain't everywhere I go, they know my name. Cause I be rapping gang gang Post it with the gang gang <laughs> Pull up with the gang gang Shoot up with the gang gang It's the simple things like going to Whole Foods Choosing what snacks we want to eat Or not eat No, no, no No, no These are the things that we enjoy doing together they're just little things, but when you can go out, um, do errands, and find such happiness and something as small as that, that's when you know you have something special. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. 
sa atin? Ikaw ah, matigas ang ulo mo ah. Tigas ang ulo mo. Sobrang tigas ang ulo mo. Lodi and I have such fast-paced, environment-changing lifestyles. Um, we're always doing something different, and that's something that we can relate to, is that we both believe we can have a little more time for ourselves, respectively. It's kind of like everything in moderation, except for green tea. Oh no, that's a different quote. Everything in moderation, including moderation itself. So, I mean, we're always doing something different, but sometimes we need to just sit down, relax, not do something different, and chill. When the two of us look back at our travels together, uh, I mean, we've talked about this, the most memorable moments are really just... Us tagging up the hotel. Yeah, it's really just, it's just when we're at the hotel. Don't get me wrong, we have so much fun doing all the crazy stuff we do, like running around Japan and the red carpet in Hollywood and all that stuff, but I guess the most intimate moments is just, just being able to relax together. Yeah, talking about our day and just recapping what happened and just expressing our gratitude for all these experiences that uh, I guess we got to share together. Constantly reflecting at the end of every day is one of our favorite ways to bond and I guess it's kind of like how we relive the experience and relive the moment. Kind of like a vlog. Hey. Hey. Do you want to come join me? Just really quick. She's editing something too. She's probably editing something epic that she's gonna upload today as well. Oh, Pressure's sure. on. <laughs> so since we started hanging out, um, I guess there's always been this floating controversy or issue about us having a, a staged relationship and that I'm hanging out with her so I can become famous. But she got her hanging out with me so that she can gain attention and everything, which uh, it's hilarious, you know, from the beginning of that. It's funny, it's funny. Because like, if you know, she's she's the clear definition of an introvert and attention is, a, is something that makes her uncomfortable. So if anything, doing something that has to do with attention, it's like... It makes my heart beat so fast. I'm yeah, scared. it's like it's like public speaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for those wondering how come we never addressed the situation, the people asking how come it was never confirmed, why did um, we try and keep it a secret? <laughs> well, we never kept it a secret. I mean, we never denied anything. And for the most part, we just I thought it was obvious. I didn't think that you needed confirmation of anything. And then after a while, it just kind of became like a running joke. Because the thing is, everyone knew. I mean, uh, our core fan base all knew, but I guess it was the people that started to follow our stories, all the articles and blogs and all that stuff. So yeah, how come we didn't confirm it? I, I guess <laughs> we thought it was confirmed like multiple times. There were so many videos and months that went by where we're like, oh, that, that's confirmation, right? <laughs> You know? First and foremost, I mean, our mannerisms towards each other. Elodia, by the way, her middle name is Maria Clara Almira. And she, she's like a, a stereotypical, I don't know, conservative, traditionalist Filipino, would you say? She doesn't touch people or like let people touch her. She's mahinhin, she's shy. It's like the hardest person to get close to. Honestly, <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it's a challenge to get close to her and like, and I guess get affection in the beginning. <laughs> a lot of people already knew when we started traveling together. I mean, she traveled with me to out of the country and stuff, and we went to so many different places. Why would she just come along and travel with me? <laughs> Um, not to mention, you know, after I got diagnosed and everything of everyone in the world, like she was she was the only person that came out and visited me and hung out with me and, ba and basically lived with me. And she would do that every few weeks, you know, she would go back, I guess, do a job or whatever celebrity interview she was doing at the time or commercial. But, you know, she always came back after just a couple weeks. And I mean, that says it enough. You know, I was so sure it was confirmed when we started showing each other like holding hands. Mm. I mean, it's not like, you know, we would just hold hands and cuddle. <laughs> so we're cuddling, you know, like. I don't cuddle normally. Elodia's the, she ain't down with friends with benefits, you know, she's in it to win it. Ain't none of that friendy with Bennies. I was so sure people would call us girlfriend and boyfriend, like even the articles and stuff once they saw us like kissing. Like we kiss on the vlog. Kissing, that's intimate. <laughs> but still, you know, 
they still didn't know what to say. It's so funny too, like we, we love reading articles just because we always like to see what they call us and it, it's so great. They say, Will's close friend, close friend. Elodia. Uh, special friend. Special friend, I like that one, special <laughs> friend. What else is there? Cosplay friend. <laughs> they just like have to <laughs> use an adjective, yeah. friend. <laughs> and then recently, they've, they, they've come close now. Recently it's a rumored girlfriend, so that's pretty good, rumored, right? Mm -hmm. That's good journalism, you know, don't say something else you're, you're completely <laughs> sure of it. All right, and then the last of the last of the last confirmation, which we thought was like the sure confirmation after all the other sure confirmations was, I talked about her and like my emotions for her and, and how I felt about her. You know, I, I, I've said I, I loved her and stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe they thought I loved you, but you were just like, you know, didn't love me or anything. <laughs> I don't know. But like, I'll go back to an old vlog and I'll show you like how I talk about her. And you know, you could just see what I say. There's a point in life where you have to reevaluate your social circle. You have to ask yourself if the people around you are making a positive impact in your life. If the answer is no, then you have to make that really tough decision to move on or else it's gonna be something that's gonna slow you down until you make that realization. I admired Elodia since the very first conversation I had with her. She is the nicest and most genuine person I think I've, I've ever met in my entire life. And her being here for me helped me tremendously. And now that she's leaving, you know, it just made me feel the need to stress the importance of positive people and the effect that they can have on your overall energy. She has to go back to the Philippines to shoot a commercial, which is probably out by this when this video comes out. And Surround yourself with people that reflect who you want to be and how you want to feel because energies are contagious. Um, for me, actions speak louder than words. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned that earlier in the oh, vlog too. So, okay. Like I mentioned before, um, in the end, our core fan base knew we actually have like, what do you call that? The SS, uh, you guys probably see them in the comments. We have like little groups of like our core fan base where, where we talk to them more and stuff on, on Facebook and everything. I mean, we've revealed stuff there a, a long time ago. Everyone knew except for Elodia's just fanboys that just really don't want to believe that she's in a relationship with anyone and, and that she'll, fangirls. you know, forever be single. And there just wasn't any press con about it or like public announcement. One thing you guys have to realize is like, I'm, I'm kind of new to being a public figure. And I guess when you're a public figure and you put two public figures together, there has to be this whole like confirmation type of thing, right? You have to like tell the world. It's like, we're normal people, you know, we're, we're just normal. Like we just happen to like video our lives and, and have people watch it like it's TV show and dress up and play video games for a living. You know, mm -hmm. but in the end, we just, we feel normal. And I've dated a, a fair amount of people before and you guys have seen them on YouTube and maybe you guys know, maybe you guys don't know. I never confirmed it there, but uh, it's something that you guys never like needed to push so much and, and, and for me to talk about. I guess that's different because now it's me with someone, someone who's so high profile, even though you're so low profile and you hide and now she's really only becoming known by the public world and, and who she really is through my vlog because she never talked about anything in her life. She does her work and then- That's what you see. That's, that's what you see. see. But that's good because I can't tell you how many comments that we always get. And it's always like, I thought Elodia was this. I thought she was just some rich social. Whatever like, whatever thing they say about you. But then it's like, once I finally got to know her, like I realized <laughs> she's so simple and she's nice and all this stuff. She's so simple. She's really simple. I'm just a simple potato who likes to play video games and dress up. Show pow. <laughs> Case in point, I've never, <laughs> really emotional. I've never felt this specific way towards someone before. Like no shade to anyone I dated in the past. Now everyone's gonna go look through my YouTube and be like, oh, I bet he dated this person. I bet he dated this. Um, like I mentioned earlier, you know, I love so many people and I've loved so many people, but I never, I never felt like, you know. I'm sorry to all my like straight males that are watching this and, and everything. <laughs> 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 you probably want to throw up and, and I'm sorry, but this is the only time. It's probably not going to be the only time. Bear with me. It's Valentine's Day. It's, it's Romance Day. It's the day of love, X, whatever this is. So yeah, she's my girlfriend. See, secrets out. <laughs> yeah, we're official. I'm Michelle. <laughs> Happy. Happy. <laughs> so Nico Bolsico was right all along.
And we never denied that, by the way. All I said was, hey, don't believe everything you read. I wasn't saying it wasn't true. I just said, you know, take everything with a, a grain of salt. Is that a grain of salt or inch of salt? A grain of sugar. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> Okay guys, hi, I just come back from Cagayan de Oro and I think I have some explanations to make about Will Dasovich and Alodia. This will take a couple of IG stories, so watch them all. First special sorry to all the journalists and all the people writing news that thought Will and Alodia were together. I don't want to be like a fake source of information, so first, I'm so sorry guys for that. So I must say they are not officially together. I assume they were officially together, but come on. It's pretty obvious, right? Erwan and me, we were looking at them the other day. You know, the way Alodia looks at Will is like Sailor Moon when they're super like in love and then he will this cool kid, you know, like one of the Backstreet Boys when they look at the girls and super in love. It's pretty obvious, guys. It's pretty obvious. Okay, these IG stories are annoyingly short, so I'm going to cut it now. So basically, they're not officially together is what I assume. But it's pretty obvious they love each other and it's pretty obvious Will will propose sometime soon. Bolsico out. So I eat that for breakfast. Dilis? Yeah, I like when it's Dilis. The fish. Dilis kayo. 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 Dilis kayo.